How's it going everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly migrate or connect your Squarespace domain to your Shopify account or Shopify store. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple, and we'll all be doing it on the Squarespace console. So the first thing that you need to do is obviously you need to log into your Squarespace account, and you basically want to follow this path right here. So home, settings, and domains. So once you guys are in dashboard, just go to home settings and domains, and you want to click on or select the domain or URL that you want to transfer to Shopify. And to do so, you first want to unlock the domain. And this is for two reasons. So we can actually import the domain into a different website as well as get the authorization code for it. So the order that you, the order in which you guys need to do this is uncheck the lock domain button send transfer authorization code. And uh, normally this would be sent to your email or whatever email is tied to your Squarespace account. So um, you just wanna log into your email as well. And once you copy the key, we're going to transfer over to Shopify. So in Shopify, you wanna log in as an administrator and follow this path right here on the dashboard, go to settings, domains, and click on transfer domain. Now we're going to enter the domain that we want to transfer here. So the actual URL from Squarespace. So we just basically pay, copy paste the URL here, click on next. And when it asks you to verify the domain, this is where you'll actually input the code that we got from uh, Squarespace. So the, uh, the authorization code or rather the authentication code. So simply input it, uh, verify, hit next, click buy and transfer, and then check the email account associated with your Squarespace account. And once all of that is done and everything seems to be in order, click on approve and you're done. You've successfully transferred your Squarespace domain into your Shopify store. So yeah, that's how you guys do it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.